I want to say she's 17 years old. She's such a sweet child. She is, and she is so creative, so determined to do what she wants to do, which, funny to say, is acting like me. But I just, I feel, it makes me have to realize, like, just seeing her, that, like, wow, I mean, I could have had it worse, like her. I need to, like, not tear myself down all the time with what I have. We're taught to be afraid of the quiet ones. You know, the ones that sit alone in the corner. You know, even the ones, if you're watching this now, you know who I'm talking about. The ones uh, you might see at Tilly. Because they don't bother. I shouldn't say that. I'm sure they do try. I see so many people who are in my position, if not worse, and they think they cannot do anything once they leave here. And it's just like... I want them to know that's not the case. It's a little kid playing with Legos or, uh, you know, playing piano very well. We look at all the cute things, but there's a lot of misconceptions, and it doesn't go away with age. They have the ability to do what they want to do, regardless of what they have, and they can achieve it with full and bright colors and it just it sucks that there's so many people out there that want to just put them in a box and be like well you can't do this you can't do this you can't do this so we're gonna have you like do this really simple job and do only that it's very tempting even for me to just say give up to so think of all the mistakes that I made you know all the salted herbs I've made. And I think if only I had a time machine, you know, to go back in time, because I know what I did wrong and I can fix those things. You fix those things though, you never learn. Because you don't have a time machine, you don't have a crystal ball, you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Because you do get better. No one's gonna get anywhere unless you try to reach a b beyond the impossible. I've developed a sort of strategy with people every now and then that sometimes I just say, today I'm going to be bold. I'm going to do the things that I might regret, but, you know, I know that I'm smart. Um, and I know that I don't have a problem speaking up. Because my dance teacher tells me that what I have is a gift because sometimes of not being able to focus, sometimes I'm able to focus on something too much. Hell, I'm taking voice class right now and it's one of the most enlightening experiences I've ever had. Because I know now that I have the ability to do something not only right, but better than a lot of people. I just wish more people would try to get more knowledge about it. I, I still want to learn more about it because I just, like all my life I've just been told I'm on the spectrum. It's like, okay, cool, like, what part of the spectrum? If I'm the only one that can speak up, and I know I'm not, but I definitely have the biggest ego about it, and yes, I'm gonna get in front of a camera, and yes, I'm gonna talk about it, because if I have those qualities, and I don't use them to try to help people who are far more worse off than me and are getting bullied and getting abused and not getting recognized for it. You should not be defined by whatever spectrum you're on or whatever disability you have. And that needs to be realized right now. I believe while, you know, self-expression is important, you have to put on your best self every day. You have to work on that. Yes, it's a lot of responsibility, but you can do it. It's in everyone. It takes longer to find. My name is Cassandra Gilbert. People call me Cassie. I am 23 years old, and I am on the ASD spectrum. Hello, I am Thomas McCoy. I'm 22 years old and I have high functioning autism.